Good afternoon. Good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, the DJ. Um, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, I'd like to welcome you. And let's do a little housekeeping first. Uh, y'all can get in touch with me at Mental House TV at gmail.com or Khadija Anwar at hotmail.com. You can also donate using Cash App or you can. Um, I'm sorry, I told you guys, I don't think that, uh, I think that Patreon is still being uh, worked on. So I saw it wasn't uh, operating. So like I said, Cash App, hit me up in the email. Let me know that you out there. Um, I so appreciate your comment. So let me say this to KW as we go along. Uh, you know, it's interesting that when people assume stuff because they say you make an ass out yourself, right? Whenever you assume. But I, I, I want people to know because I'm never above reproach. If I'm coming across or if I come across as a racist <laughs> with the suspects being it's a racist, um, I do study race a little bit. However, I look at the human family as a whole. And um, when I mention devils, please understand that there's the big Satan and there's little Satans and demons running around here just excuse me, just as well. And it's not relegated to a particular color. Okay, not as far as I'm concerned. Not as far as I'm concerned. Because if you don't know that there's black devils out here, they may be the one to tell you. My brother was just killed by one. Okay? So black devils are everywhere. White devils are everywhere. Now, because you hear that term, get used to it. And it does not mean that I have a respect for a devil. Either or. Okay? So let's get done with that first. Um, and so was my sister, by the way. Now. I thought I was going to be able to... I want to first apologize to y'all family. I thought I was going to be able to do a commentary every day regarding my brother Rob. Mm -hmm. But that is not going to take place. It's not going to take place. Um, being the mother of a daughter, I can't imagine my daughter being caught up in some stuff like that, it would, it would, it would destroy me. Hell, I'm on the house with my daughter right now. We go through our little uh, todays, you know, and, uh, but to even think that I'm running after my daughter because she's involved with some kind of stuff like that, um, it would just, it would just be devastating. So I want to first and foremost make sure my heart and comments are in the right place. Anybody that was a victim by this man, male or female, I pray for you. And um, I know that the way we live sometime in these hoods, 
I just, I just, it's a shame that we so undervalued. We feel so undervalued that because somebody can show us the perception that somebody can show us to fame and fortune and out of our situation to the point where we're willing to do anything to achieve that is very hurtful. And it's just an indicator of how this society has been operating for a long, 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 long time. Okay? Because this is not the first time Robert has been caught. Hey, Rob, you just, you were just off the chain. And I had no idea that you were that, that detrimental running through our society. And I kept wondering why they were considered an enterprise. But when I saw how you or they allegedly orchestrated these things, um, and that there were people, your know, so-called staff, who knew they would get brownie points to hook you up. So they were forever on the prowl. Uh, I wonder what's going to happen to that girl's husband, because he worked with R. Kelly for a long time. The girl's husband, um, I can't think of her name, but she's with Escape. One of those sisters. Uh, I don't know if he got any persons for R. Kelly. I know he worked on the road with him. So, is he, is he going to be subpoenaed? I don't know. I'm sure he should be. Um, and after hearing what I've heard for the last few days, I just decided I cannot even do no more commentary because it's just too diabolical. It's too horrific. And it has no place. Ugh, it has no place in society. The debauchery that you participated in in a sick, Oh, the allegedly sick acts alone let me know you require a special kind of prayer. Because, brother, um, if that was one, if that was my daughter that you got a hold to and performed that like you did, uh, uh, was her name Regina? So it was the people you were literally an addict, what they consider a sex addict, and you was never going to get enough, and your appetite was too enormous because you had taste too much fame. So the appetite gets bigger and bigger, just like if you use drugs and you have access to it all, it gets bigger and bigger until you kill yourself. Well, he has um, sex that way. By God, I don't, not even by the will of my own. I remember making a video because I'm I'll correct my mistakes if I feel like I've done something and I need to repent for. It, you, know, I would be the first one to say it. I I don't even know if I could even listen to his music anymore, even if it was okay, dude. I can't even listen to this <laughs> because every time I listen to it, I'm gonna think about the little boys. I'm going to think about Aaliyah, Azrael, McKay. I, can, I can't even go no further. So for those of y'all that um, are attending the trial, I heard no press is allowed inside the court, actual courtroom and that the court, uh, they're in the press room or, honey, that right there is too much. Kind of reminds me uh, of the Jeffrey Dahmer trial, just to another degree. Through sex. This stuff that you don't even, you can't even. So with that being said, you won't be getting no more commentary from me. Talking about what happened day one, two, three. You might, I mean, not like that. I can't. Uh-uh. I can't. So 
Y'all tell me what y'all think and what y'all have heard so far. And family, please let me know what you think about this crap. Have y'all been checking up and keeping on it, family? Have y'all ever been listening to this mess? What is Sam's tarnation? Oh, family. All right. I'll see you in the next video.